something a bit different, I decided to do a get ready with me clubbing video, which I haven't done one before, I don't think. And I decided to do it because I don't normally wear blue. And you know what? I was like, if I were to go clubbing, I would wear blue eyeshadow, so why not? And I'm so excited. Yesterday, I bought this MAC Duo, the... Uh, lip liner in Whirl and the lipstick in Brave. So I'm going to use this in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was my first time wearing it and I'm in love with this color. Let me know what you think. But yeah, comment below what you wear to go clubbing. Let me know your thoughts on this look and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I love when I got each and every one of you guys and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Yay! <laughs> I'll put it below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! Hello pumpkins. As you can see, I had already applied my foundation the one I used was Makeup Forever in HD, but I'm going to go ahead and get straight into my concealer to cover up my under eye dark circles and other blemishes. And I'm using my Australis full on uh, foundation stick as a concealer, so I'm just going to completely rub that in. Okay, so once that is done, you want to set everything on your face. So I'll be using the NYX Loose Powder. It's in the lighter shade. I'm just going to tab a bit on the lid and then use it from there. And I recently discovered the Zoeva brush brand. And, you know, I'm late on the bandwagon, but this is amazing. I'm absolutely in love with this set. I will be using the brush in 106, the powder brush. And I'm just going to wipe that all over my face. And you want to dab rather than wipe. So I meant dab. Sorry about that. And then I went ahead and did my eyebrows just to save a bit more time. And then once that is done, I'm obsessed with this product. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Jewel Tea. Um, you know, it has shimmer and sand, I guess, pencil. So I'll be using that to highlight the brow bone. And it gives just a nice, fresh, clean look. So today I'll be grabbing my Sleek Palette in Storm 568. I'll put all the products on my website below. And I'm going to concentrate on the bottom shades, like the darker tones, the bluey greeny ones. And I will be once again using my Zoeva brush. And this one will be in the number 227, the Lux Soft Definer. As you can see, these colors are very pigmented, which I love. So I'm just going to, you know, slowly go back and forth near the crease area, and just blend as much as I can. The color I'm using from this sleek palette is the one called Blackout. So as you can see, I'm just trying to completely blend that in. To get a bit more of a precise shape and get the color exactly where you want, I switched my uh, brush to the 231 in the petite crease, once again from Zoeva. Luxlo was very, very nice to me. They offered my beautiful viewers a discount code. So I'll be placing a code below. It's called LX Lillian, my name. And you get 20% off anything from the Luxlo website. And that's where I got my sleek palettes from. And this ends October 31st. So you still have a lot more time. Now I wanted to add a bit of a shimmer and a bit of a blue look to the whole shadow so I added the Electric Storm color from the same palette. But this time I'm just going to bring the color just a bit more towards my socket area, the middle section, <laughs> the socket area, I don't even know if that made sense. And I'm just going to continue to blend everything in. Now using my Zoeva brush in number 142, it's the concealer buffer brush. I used the color Sandstorm and Snowstorm to apply that on the inner corner of my eye just to highlight the whole eyelid. And I tried dabbing it on rather than, you know, brushing it back and forth as you can see over here. This just gives, you know, a nice kind of shimmery look and it just makes your eyes appear a bit more wider and awake. Once I was happy with the look, I decided just to add a bit more color to the bottom area of my eye and I used the color Electric Storm. And then as usual, I went ahead and applied my Benefit The Real Push Up Liner. To be honest, I found it a bit more difficult to apply the liner with the shadow already placed on my, you know, eyelids because it was a bit shimmery. But, you know, once I did it the first time, the second time wasn't as bad. So I probably would say I've tried and apply two layers of liner if you can. And then I went ahead and I used one of my favorite mascaras for this time being. It's the Lancome Grandiose, I hope I said it right, <laughs> mascara. And this is in 40LN. I'm not sure if they have numbers, but just in case if they do. And honest to God, this mascara is such a lifesaver, especially if you normally apply mascara on the bottom layer of your lashes. It works perfectly. As you can see, it's tilt. 
So it's like the perfect angle to apply mascara with. And I feel like it gets the tiniest, shortest hair pieces as well. So, you know, if you're trying to look for something to give you a bit more volume and a lot more length in your lashes, I would definitely go for this. Once again, I'll put all the products in my website below. So don't forget to check out that. I would decided to just add a bit more of the blackout color to the shadow on the outer corner just to give it a bit of a more dramatic look. I just felt like I could add a bit more color. So that's why I went ahead and I did that. Obviously this look is optional for clubbing, but I went ahead and I applied my Ardell Natural Lashes in Demi 120. These are my favorite ones. They're very wispy, which I love, love, love. So I went ahead and I did that and I applied eyeliner once again and mascara. So to finish off the look, I went ahead and I used my Anastasia contouring kit. Obviously, you know, it's an obsession. And just to give a bit more color to something a bit different than browns and, you know, tones like that, I went ahead and I used my LS Mixed Berries Mineral Blush. I'm obsessed with this color. If you watched my videos for a while, you would know I finished my first one. This is my second pan, to be honest. I went ahead and I put that on. And then now onto the lips. I was so excited to use this lipstick and this lip liner from MAC. A new store has opened a MAC store near my house. I literally went ahead and I bought that the first thing I ever did when I walked to the shopping center and I came out with this. I've been obsessed with this color. Obsessed. So I used the MAC lip liner in Whirl and the lipstick in Brave. I feel like it's such a beautiful, beautiful combination. It goes well with a few different looks and a few different outfits. It's like the perfect shade and it reminds me of the 90s and my mum. I feel, I feel like she would wear this colour quite a bit. And what I did over there, as you can see on the bottom lip area, well what I'm doing now, is I drew two lines in the middle section and this just gives like a more of a plum 3D dimensional kind of look to your lips. It's kind of what Angelina Jolie has got going on naturally, but we're just going to fake it here because obviously we don't have that look here. <laughs> and yeah, I went ahead and I put my lipstick on. And that's it. Bada bim bada boom. That's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts. And please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you do like it. Because that would help me so, so, so much. But yeah, I love and adore every one of you guys. Keep on smiling. I hope you're all happy and having a beautiful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.